In this short video, I'm gonna show you how you can automatically repurpose your video content into beautiful image carousels that you can publish to Instagram and places like LinkedIn. As with all my automation, it always starts with the content machine inbox. In this example, I'm talking about why you should become a media company. So I'll just drop that video directly into my inbox here. This happens to be a TikTok that I published just a few days ago. It'll upload into my inbox. Then a Zapier process will pull it into my content machine, which is built on Airtable. And you can see that content right here. The normal process for a video like this is to come in and assign it as a virtual vertical video. Once I click that, it's going to run that content framework and that playbook, which ultimately gets it to the distribution tab, which allows me to publish it on LinkedIn, my YouTube community, TikTok, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, Twitter. The video also goes through automation to transcribe that video automatically. Here's a zap process that does that using Descript. If you're interested in learning more about the automatic transcription process, I just did a video last week where I talked about how to convert your transcriptions into Twitter threads. Take a look at that video because I go through each of these steps in detail. By the way, if you like content automation, content just like this, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm gonna be doing a ton of this content going forward. So I showed you the normal process of processing a vertical video and distributing it to multiple marketing channels like TikTok and Instagram Reels. But where this gets really interesting is that I can recycle all of this content as well. So I can search for previously published content. In this case, we're talking about becoming a media company. And you'll see that vertical video right here in my system that's in my recycle tab, which is part of my content database, which really stores all the content that I've ever created in my system with a unique ID. And then I can reapply a playbook to that content. In this case, I'm going to apply a slide deck replay. Once I click this, the system is going to automatically duplicate that content and help get that content into a slide deck template. So I'll go ahead and click this and show you the process. Once I click that, it's going to pull into my design tab to show me all the content that needs graphic design at the moment. Then I can take a quick look at the copy that was originally transcribed and then turned into a text post or just copy when I published the video. And then I can clean that up a bit into these blocks of text. And it's pretty easy to get someone else to do this for you because it's already in your tone of voice. Then when I'm ready to process that slide deck, I can just come here to image status. I can click needs an image. There's an automation down here that's gonna process that request. When it's done, you're gonna see this move to QC image. And then you're gonna see it took this template slide deck and filled in the content line by line into each of the slides. And it was all done with this automation that I did on an automation platform called Make. It's a lot like Zapier, but they have different pricing structures and different automations that you can execute. They both really work well. It just depends on what you're doing. The process is actually quite simple. I have a trigger here, which is is looking for any content that drops into my Airtable database in this particular view slide deck. Then it pulls in the contents from the Google Doc, it splits that content up, and then it creates a Google slide deck and inserts each of the lines into the various placeholders that you can see here. You have a title and a subtitle for each slide. And then if you need to, you can always make little tweaks to this. You can change the font size, the positioning, anything you need to do. And then you're left with a beautiful slide deck which then again, if I come back to my distribution tab, I can publish that piece of content, that PDF to places like LinkedIn, and I can schedule in that date. I can even automate the publishing of that content to LinkedIn and to other platforms, but I'll talk about the automation of publishing in different videos. So as always, if this video was valuable to you, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. That helps me out a lot and shows me what type of content that you want more of. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you on the next video.